hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I will be doing a July 4th lock hairstyle tutorial and it will be featuring the two strand twist so if you'd like to know how I achieve the look then keep on watching so to start off my hairstyle I'm going to moisturize my hair and I'm going to use a tropical black castor oil infused with rosemary and the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm doing somewhat of a protective style and while it's in the protective style I like for my hair to keep moisturized so I'm going to apply the oil from the roots to the tips what I'm going to do is to section my hair into two sections and this will be in a somewhat C or U shape and at the end of the parting then I'll go ahead and show you exactly what I'm talking about not working with I'm going to go ahead and put that in a ponytail just to keep it out of the way until I'm ready to use it so now I'm going to go ahead and put that front portion in a high ponytail and I'm going to use a ponytail holder because I'd like for my ponytail to be very sleek. But if you prefer a messier look, you could go ahead and use your own hair. So now because I am doing a somewhat semi-protective style, I'm going to use the Tropical Root uh, Twist Cream to uh, moisturize my hair. And I'm applying that from the base of the ponytail to the tips of my hair. And I'm concentrating it on the tips. And if it looks like there's a white cast, don't worry, it will slowly blend into my hair. So now I'm going to section my hair into two pieces. And these two pieces, I'm going to go ahead and do two strand twists. If you'd like for me to do a tutorial on two strand twists, I will have a link in the information box below. I did an in-depth tutorial for it. And when I get to the end of it, if my ends are uneven, then I will leave them as is. But if they are blunt, then I will go ahead and use rubber bands to secure the ends. front portion I am going to work on the back portion but as you can see my back is very raggedy so I'm going to go in with the tropical root locking gel and go ahead and just twist those outer uh, locks just to make them neat because I want for my hairstyle to be pretty neat when I'm finished with that I'm just gonna go ahead and put my hair into a ponytail and again I am putting it into a sleek ponytail so I'm using a ponytail holder but if you'd like for yours to be uh, somewhat loose you could go ahead and use your own hair so now that I'm finished I'm going to repeat the steps that I did uh, at the beginning so I'm going to use the twist cream to moisturize my hair from the base of the ponytail all the way to my ends and remember this cream will blend in so no worries now I'm going to go ahead and do the two strand twist so I'm separating my hair into two halves and then I'm going to go ahead and twist it all the way to the ends and remember to secure it with black rubber bands or if your hair is uneven then you can go ahead and leave it as is So those hair that's sticking out, go ahead and put them in because you want for the hairstyle to be very neat and sleek. So I'm going to wrap my hair around the base of the ponytail because I use a gray ponytail holder and I am using pins to secure it in place. For the next twist, I'm going to wrap that around and then bring it to the front and then use a hairpin to hold it in place. If your hair is long, then you could go ahead and wrap it around the base of the uh, top ponytail, but mine, it couldn't reach that far, so all I did was I put it as far as it could go and secure it with pins. So working with the front pieces, I'm going to take the one closest to my face and then bring it to the back, and then at the ends, I'm going to tuck it under the last twist that I brought forward. 
and again securing it with some hairpins. To make my hair lay flat on my head, I am going to use pins to do that and use as many pins as it takes to get your hair lying flat. Now for the final piece, I am going to put that one to the front because I want to hide my edges and I want to use as uh, I want to use less gel and edge control as possible. So that's why I brought it to the front, and then I'm just going to go ahead and secure it with pins as well. my edges using the tropical root locking gel with a toothbrush but you can go ahead and use whatever gel or edge control you have and do remember to give this video a thumbs up as well as share it and subscribe to my channel for more videos here's the completed look thank you so much for watching see you guys next time